Hey, Eric. Hey, hello. Hello, teacher. Hey, man. How are you? Uh, very good. How was your day very today? Good. How was work? And how about you? Oh, uh, it's, it's good, man. Well, yesterday, I, I, I would. Hello? Tell me, tell me. I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, okay. Yesterday, uh, I worked yesterday, so that's why I couldn't be at class. And I came today in the morning. I leave it. I leave my work at 6 a.m. in the morning. And then I was, uh, during the rest of the morning, I was taking a nap until uh, almost uh, noon. Then I wake up and I do some errands. I went to the downtown, to the bank, and do some other things. Okay. All right. All right, that's, that's great. It. All right, that's good, Eric. Okay. All right, well, I'm, I'm glad that you're here. Uh, let me just send a message to everybody else because I don't see them here. Hold on. It, it is kind of weird that sometimes uh, there's no more people at 8 o'clock yeah, in the class, right? I have no idea why. I'm I don't know. Maybe because the, we are waiting for the the other guys got into yeah, the class um, or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to start the class. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> I um, But we'll try to figure it out. Hello, Karina. Hi, Hello. teacher. Nice to see you again. How are you? Fine. All right. Good to see you. The All same, right. teacher. All right. I'm so glad to see you. All right. So how was work today? Oh, the same. <laughs> the same. You know, teenagers, same every also. day, they are having new, new problems, new situations to deal with. All right. So, they are teenagers, teacher. <laughs> okay, right. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Every day is surprising. All right. All right. Gotcha. 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 Is, is, it, is it correct to say is surprising or is surprisingly? It's surprising. Okay. Or it is a surprise. Or you can say it is a surprise. Okay. Yes. You can okay. say that as well. All right, guys. All right, so what else? What, what's good? What else? What, what do you eat? What did you have uh, mm -hmm. dinner already? Yes, I did. I ate pupusitas. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Yes, I didn't want to cook today. Nah, right. no cooking. <laughs> no cooking today, huh? All right. No. Very good. Free day for mom. Yes. Free day for mom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, day off, right? Hello, Sandra. Nice to see you. I think she doesn't listen to us. She's connecting oh, the audio. Okay, All right. Yeah, you are absolutely right about that. I guess it's the same for Emer. All right. Hello, Sandra. How are you? How was your day? Hello. I'm excellent, and my day was a bit busy because I went to the police today. You went to where? To the police office. Wow. <laughs> Why? What happened? Good evening. Good evening. Why you did, Sandra? You look like an angel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you do? I just went to get my papers. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. that's yeah. that's a different department, I think. Um, all right. Sounds good. Okay. Well, I'm glad that you're here. What about you, Emer? Uh, How was your day? Hey, I like I like um I like where you're at right now, man. You even have a a gaming chair. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, my day was pretty busy and tired. <laughs> I got stuck on a traffic jam. Oh, the, okay. All right. At Juan Pablo Segundo Street. Hey, that's all right. All right. That sounds good. Do Hello you know there. it? All right. Let's, all right. I'm just saying hi to, to Carolina's daughter. Hello there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what's, what's her name? I want to eat about her American 
she speaks English. <laughs> nice, nice. She speaks better English than most of us. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Right. I, am. I am three years old. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry for interrupting you, Murky. I was going to say that it's been a long time since I don't deal with traffic. All right, guys. Anyways, uh, let's get started, guys. Okay, we're missing. Who are we missing, guys? We're missing Laura and we're missing. Who else? <laughs> Hold on, guys. All right, guys. So, anyways, uh, if you received an email, guys, um, giving you information for the next module, um, basically, guys, what you have to know, um, if you have to send the documentation, if you're gonna get, guys, if you're gonna sign up for a uh, for another module, then you have to send the documentation uh, before the tenth, if I'm not mistaken, because. Basically, guys, um, you have to be able to send it before February the 10th, all right? Once you receive the documentation, we can, you know, we can, we can, um, we can get you a spot, you know, on the next module, right? But this is only, guys, if you finish the platform on time. So here's the thing, okay? The platform has to be completed 100%. Okay, remember that you can complete the platform before we end the module. The sooner we complete the platform, the sooner we're going to start the next module. Now, this is advanced three, so next module, I think it's a different program. So, whatever program you want to sign up for, guys, just be, um, you know, just, just keep that in mind. Okay, the, the documentation has to be sent before February the 10th. Okay. All right, guys, aside from that, guys, let's get started. Okay, so today, guys, we are going to talk about – hold on, guys. All right, so we're going to talk about – guys, um, by the way, let me know. How many screens do you see right now, one or two? One. Just one, Just one. teacher. Just two. one. You see two now? Okay, hold on. Yeah. Uh, I got to turn off my other screen. Hold on. I'm just going to... Give me one second, guys. So, Emer, you're a gamer, huh? Something like that. Something like that? What do you mean something like that? <laughs> I know I don't have too much time. Oh, okay. I got you, got you, got you. All right, guys. All right. So, are we seeing a screen now or two? Just one. One. All right. Sounds good, guys. Okay. So let's get started. Okay. So we're gonna talk about simple and complex indirect questions. Okay. Thank God this is not as difficult, uh, as, as confusing as the topic from yesterday. Okay. But you are gonna you are gonna use guys clauses. Okay. You're gonna use relative and noun clauses as well. Okay. However, guys, let's talk about Let's get some vocabulary out of the way, okay? There is a certain combination, guys, between drive, get, and make, okay? With, that we can use with, you know, these other expressions, okay? The expressions that we have on the right-hand side of the screen, okay? All right, guys, so do me a favor, okay? I'll give you, I'll give you three minutes. I'll give you three minutes so you can combine the phrase, hold on. All right, so I'll give you three minutes, guys, so you can combine this right here with the rest of the phrase right here, okay? So, for example, can you say drive someone crazy or can you say drive someone sick? What are the combinations that you can use with drive? For example, you can say, okay, I think that you can say drive someone down, drive someone crazy, drive someone uh, drives on someone's nerves. I think I can say get someone mad or get someone sick or or it makes someone someone's uh, goat. I, I don't know, guys. Whatever combination you think is possible, okay? And then we're going to go over the explanation on what each of them means, okay? So I'll give you 
yeah, I think three minutes is just, you know, I'll give you maximum, guys, five minutes, okay? All right, so let's get started, guys. Write down the sentences, okay? Let's combine this plus this, okay, and see what we can come up with, okay? If you don't know the answer, guys, do me a favor, just Google it, and then you're going to explain to me what they mean, okay? For example, guys, I'll give you the first one. You can say drive someone crazy, okay? Yes, this is some, this is something possible, all right? So what else can you can you say with drive? Hello, Laura. Welcome back. Hello, David. All right. Uh, I just explained, Laura, that what you received is basically it's hold on. All right. I, I just explained that the message that you received is basically if you wanna sign up for a different course. But this is like for people, you know, advanced three is like the, 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 the last level. Um, so if you want to sign up for a different course, you know, you have to send any documentation that you have to send. You have to send it before February the 10th. So that's that's pretty much it. All right. But other than that, you're good. And the, the, the platform, you know, is completed as well. Right. Okay. All right. Very good. All right, guys. So... You got three minutes now. Remember, guys, if you're not sure, try to let's try to Google it and see what if that phrase exists or not. OK. So by the way, guys, all these expressions are things that make you mad, okay? Things that upset you, all right? All of this, all right? All of these phrases is about making you upset, okay? Making you angry, all right? So they are, you know, they are related to each other. All right, guys, uh, if you finish, let me know, guys, okay?
All right, guys. Do we need more time? Yes, please, teacher. I haven't right. finished. All right. Sounds good. again All right, guys, um, let's get started. All right, so Eric, so what did we have with drive? Uh, you're muted, sir. The first one that I wrote is drive someone crazy, then uh, drive someone's blood spoil. Uh, also, drive. Uh, oh, that's the only one that, that I have for drive. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Let me ask you something. Well, okay. So, good job, Eric. Applause for Eric, guys. Good job. Okay. So, this is Eric's answers. Now, Eric, what is the what is the meaning of driving someone crazy? Driving somewhere crazy is when someone can be on, on can can have his uh, nerves uh, nice. He's not he, he's not the person it, itself. It's someone else because it's mad or mad or something like that. Okay. Because someone is bothering. Okay. He's bothering him. All right, all right. That's a good explanation. Now, driving someone's blood boil, where did you find this? Uh, I don't know, but I guess, I guess is, or at least I understood that expression, like I can be able to get to, to drive someone's blood boil. All right. I mean, for example, mm -hmm. it, it is like you said, is 
bothering someone else. So the, the blood is start boiling. And like uh, when someone is saying something that you don't like to hear or do. Okay, all right. Very good. Uh, driving someone's blood boil does not exist, okay? But good try. All right, okay. very good. All right. All right. Uh, what else, guys? Uh, Sandra, what else do we have with drive? Thank you. Thank with you. drive? Uh, with I drive. have a drive someone mad, drive, drive someone, someone mad. sick, and drive someone up the wall. Drive someone sick and drive someone up the wall. Up the wall. Yeah. All right. Where did you find drive someone mad? What, 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 hold on, right? driving me mad. Okay, that that is correct. Where, where do you find drive someone sick and drive someone up the wall? When I type it, they appear like if they were definition or examples of some dictionaries like Merriam-Webster or okay, or I don't remember Cambridge. Yeah. Okay, so you found the phrase drive someone sick. Yep. Just okay. let me check. Well. All right. Yeah, I because mean, I type it, all of them. <laughs> okay, I love them. all right. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, all right, let's, uh, we'll try to see. Okay, very good. Now, mm -hmm. I haven't heard, to be honest, uh, drive someone sick, but I've heard make someone sick. Okay, you're making me sick, right? When you say like somebody's making you sick, guys, you mean like you're, you're, you're pissing me off, okay? You're making me really, really angry, okay? Something right? like uh, something disgusting. Very good, okay, right. So drive someone sick, if it exists, I have never heard it before, okay? But driving someone mad and driving someone crazy do exist, okay? So good job, plus for Sandra, okay? They both mean okay. that, okay, that you, are, you get really, really, really upset, okay? Very good, guys, okay. So get, all right, what do we have with get, Emer? Uh, get under someone's skin. I think I already heard it very good get under someone's skin okay skin. everybody say you're getting under my skin you're getting under my skin you're All getting right. under my skin my skin you're that, getting mean, under that my means skin. guys again that you're getting me you're getting me really 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 angry okay so that's meaning behind me. all right very good um what else um on someone's nerves get on someone's nerves where is, where is it's it? on the top Oh yeah, very I good. I think it's like the same. You're getting honest. on my everybody. You're getting on my nerves. You're getting. Oh my you're nerves. getting. You're on getting on my nerves. nerves. So on my that nerves. means, guys, again. Yeah, you're pissing me off. I'm, I'm really angry. Okay, very good. Okay, good job. What else do we have? We get. And someone up the wall. Getting someone up the wall. Okay, very good. What's the meaning for that, guys? You're getting me up the wall. I think it's not little. <laughs> <laughs> to annoy someone by doing something. Very good. Okay. Good job. Good job. Thank you, Laura. All right. Uh, what else, guys? Sure. What else do we have with get? Tell me. Tell me. I, I think it's get because there is a like a preposition with like on, on there, up. I guess it's like that, but I'm not completely sure. What are okay? Which which what are you talking about? I'm sorry. Like on get under get on. Yeah, th this is correct. Yes. Uh huh. That th yeah, you can say uh, you're getting under my skin. All right, that would be 100% accurate. All right, so you're good. You're good. Okay. What else do we have? Something else we get? Get someone's goat. Get someone's goat. All right, repeat, guys. Goat. 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 All right. So goat. what is the meaning? What is the meaning of getting someone's goat? It's to make it's someone else to annoy. It is to annoy someone, right? Like extremely annoy someone. Okay, very good. Uh, yeah. Do we have anything else with get? Get someone down. Down. Get someone's what? Down. down. Get someone down, right? What is the meaning of get someone down? It's like to make feel so, to someone else sad or, or bad. Very good, okay. That... You're making me, okay, you're getting me down, right? You're, you're, or you're getting someone down, okay? It's making... All right, it's getting someone depressed. to feel depressed or sad, right? Okay, all right. Very good. What else? Do we have anything else we would get? Mm -hmm. That it? Okay, very good. What about make, guys? Make. 
make someone mad, make someone sick. Very good. Okay, so make, make someone, someone make, make someone, someone mad. Guess mad. That is driving someone mad. Okay, make <laughs> someone sick. Okay, when you say you're making me sick, okay, right to 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 a toxic, that means that you're tired of that person. Right, you're making me sick, dude. Right, stop. It, okay. All right, and making someone's blood boil. All right, you're making my blood boil. Now, when you say that, guys, it means that. You're yeah. you're so so angry, guys. Okay, that you, like I don't know. That's like that's like being extremely angry, right? You're making my blood boil, right? All right. It's what we say, guys. All right. It literally means that. Okay. Very good, guys. Applause for you guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right. Take care. Tell me. I remember. I remember that I I have watched the video of that lesson. And I remember that I read make someone mad. So that's not correct. Make someone mad. Yeah, that's correct. That's okay. what we said. Yeah. That's what we had before. Is make someone mad. Okay. Or drive someone mad. The thing is that you can you can use both. Okay. You can make someone mad or driving someone mad. Okay. All right. Very good. All right, guys. So uh any other question? Yes, no, very good. Let's talk about, guys, okay, let's talk about um, direct versus indirect questions, okay? This is a topic that we have seen before, but before that, guys, do we know what a direct question is? All right, uh, Eric, do we know what a direct question is? Uh, yes, when you ask someone something, uh, for example, you should do. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, guys, so a direct question, guys, a direct question is any question, actually, okay? It's a question, guys. It is whatever question follows the structure of a question, all right? Again, it is whatever question follows the structure of a question. Meaning that you will start the question with either, you know, a WH word followed by an auxiliary or an auxiliary, okay? All right? Because that is how you start making questions, okay? So, for example, here, all right, you can see, is he Spanish, right? Is he Spanish? Is that a, is that a direct question? Yes or not? Yes, right? It is a direct yes. question, right? When I say, is the restaurant closing now? Is it a, is it a direct question? Yes. Yes, right? Was it late for me, the meeting? Yes, it is another direct question. So yes. how can you determine, right? If you read this, how can you determine if this is a direct or indirect question? Because it started with uh, an auxiliary. Very good, okay, because it starts with an auxiliary, right? It follows the structure of a question, okay? Got it? So it's just a regular question, right? It's, it's a direct question, just like somebody asked, you know, asking you, hey, do you know where the supermarket is, right? All right, so that is, uh, well, actually, guys, if you say, do you know where the supermarket is, that would be indirect. When you say, where is the supermarket, okay? That is an indirect question, okay? All right? So far, so good? Yes? Yeah. All right. Very yeah. good, guys. Okay. So when we use it for, we can use it, guys, for any tense. Actually, okay, as long as it is a question, any direct question can be transformed in transformed into an indirect question. All right. Now take a look at the first example. Okay. All right. Eric, help me read the indirect version of the direct question that we just talked about. So help me read the indirect question of Is he Spanish? Okay, can you tell me if he is Spanish? Very good, guys. Okay. Now, guys, first of all, is an indirect question a question? Yes or not? Yes, it is, right? Yes. It is a question. It's yes. still it's still a question, guys. I mean, it even has it even has the question mark there, right? So now, guys, when I say is he Spanish, is that a yes or no question? Sandra? Oh, yeah, it's just a no question. 
Yes, it is, right? Because if I yeah. asked you, hey, is he Spanish? You would answer, yes, he is or no, yeah. he isn't, right? Very good, okay? So it is a it is a yes or no question, guys, okay? Are we good so far? You following me? Sandra, Carolina? Yeah. You good? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. So now when we talk about indirect question, guys, okay? What's telling us is that the direct question becomes a sentence, okay? <laughs> right, repeat, guys. The direct question becomes a sentence. The direct the question, direct question becomes, becomes a sentence. sentence. All right. So, for example, guys, this is a very common mistake in Spanish. You, you would say, and this is what you would say, right, usually. Can you tell me, all right, can you tell me, if, is he Spanish, right? And no, guys, because you already have a question. So notice this, guys, okay? So if you're going to use, you know, the present simple with, with B, you're going to add an if clause, okay? Notice the if there, all right? Yes. So you can tell me, would you tell me yes. if he's Spanish? Can you tell me if he's Spanish? Um, would, you, would you be so kind to tell me if he's Spanish, right? If he's Spanish. Uh, what else, guys? What else? How else can you ask for this? I was wondering if he is Spanish. <laughs> I was wondering if he's Spanish. Okay, very good. Okay. All right. So that is a type of indirect question as well, guys. Okay. Now, notice something. The question here is he Spanish. It's here, guys. He is Spanish. Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, teacher. Very good. So that the same happens, guys, with all the other uh, with all the other tenses, right? Present continuous. What is the, the direct question for the present continuous, Emer? Uh, you're muted, man. You're muted. What is the the? What is the direct question? question? Yes. It is with verb ing. Okay, but what is what is? It? Can you read it? Can you see it here? Can you read it? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Is the restaurant closing now? Close closing, not closing. Closing. Okay. Closing now. Very good. Is the restaurant closing now? Okay. All right, now, I, I know that you can see the example here, okay? But can you come out with your own example? Can you tell me, can you give me this question as an indirect question? Do you know if the restaurant is closing now? Very good. Do you know if the restaurant is closing now? Very good job. Thank you, Sandra. Sandra, guys, good job. All right, Emir, give me another one. Ask me the same. Ask me the same thing, indirectly. Uh, I in indirect. Indirectly, yes. Indirect. Mm. Could you tell me if the restaurant is close closing now? Very good. Okay. Very good. All right. Good job. All right. Good job, Little Framer guys. Good job. All right, guys. Is this part clear? Yes, it is. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Claudia, welcome back, Claudia. Nice to see you again. All right. Teacher, excuse me. I am on my way to my house. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good. Thank you for being here. Take your time. But, Go ahead. I, 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 I am trying to understand the, the exercise. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you very much, Claudia. All right, guys. Now, the same thing happens, guys, when we talk about future continuous, future perfect, future perfect continuous, and modal verbs. Now, but let's talk about modal verbs. Remember, guys, modal verbs are... What modal verbs do we know, guys? Should, could, would. I Very think. good. Okay. Should, could, will, could, might, can, uh, will. May, can, could, right. will, must. Okay. Very good. <laughs> good job. Good job, Carolina. Teacher <laughs> Carolina. Good job, Carol. All right. Very good. Yes, okay. teacher. All right, guys. So what happens, guys? Okay. So it is the same, guys. Should. Okay. The modal verb, the modal verb uh, works as an auxiliary, right? So mm -hmm. if I ask you, hey, should we come to class earlier? How would you say that indirectly, uh, Laura? Should we come to class 
to write it down okay so the, the direct question would be should we come earlier to class okay so this is my question okay. how would you turn that into an indirect question Could you huh? could you could you come early to class if I if I were come on time? I don't know. All right, very good. Okay, now guys, okay, the, we're gonna see the structure, guys. But basically, guys, okay. You're going to start with a regular question, okay? Remember, this is still a yes or no question. You can say, could you tell me, all right? I'll, I'll put it like this. You can, you can say, could you tell me, all right? Um, I was wondering, wondering if, okay, et cetera, okay? So could you tell me, and then this is followed, guys, by if, okay? Don't forget that. I was wondering if, okay? And then, all right? <laughs> then you tell me the sentence, okay? So could you tell me if we should, not should we, right? Could you tell me if we should come to class earlier? I was wondering if we can come to class earlier. All right, earlier, I'm sorry, okay? All right. Uh, don't worry, good example, all right? We're going to see the structure later. Uh, but thank you very much, Laura, okay? All right, guys, so uh, this is just a reminder, guys, of a direct versus indirect questions, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so any question right now, guys, with yes or no questions? No? All right. So uh, I'll teach you about the phrases, guys, the phrases that we can use, guys, okay? All right, now let's talk about WH questions, okay? All right, so what happens with WH questions? First of all, do we all know what WH words are? Yes, that's all I know. Yep. All right, very good. Okay. All right. So first question, why is he on why is he unhappy? All right. So Eric, how would you ask me that? I know that you can see it here. You can say this, guys, okay? You can say instead of uh can you tell me, right? You can say can you tell me? All right, or you can say could you tell me? Or you can tell you can say let's 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 think about the different ways that you could say this. All right, can you tell me? Um, I, I would like to would know. Would you tell me? Okay, I, very good. I, hold on, yeah. keyboard. So you can say, I'd like to know. All right, I'd like to know. Could, me. could you tell me? All right, could you tell me? What else, guys? Can you, you tell me? I'm sorry, uh, Laura? May you tell me? Okay, you can say, may you tell oh, would me. Would you tell me? All right, what else? Would you tell me, okay? Would you tell me, okay, very good. Do you mind? Do you? Would you tell me? Very good, you can say, do you mind? Now, if you say, do you mind, guys, you have to use a gerund, okay? Do you mind telling me, okay? Now, okay. what is the difference between these and the ones before? What do you think, guys? What will be the only difference here between a yes or no question and a WH question? That you have to give a, it's an explanation. No, no, that's not the difference, no. Or it sounds more polite. That's not the difference either, no. Can you tell me why he is so happy? I, I think the reason, I don't know. Let's analyze yeah. this, guys. Okay. Hold on. Let me bring give it. extra. You have when you answer, you have to give extra information, teacher. I don't know. No, no. The structure. Me, I, uh, the structure. Okay. Yes, it is the structure, but we're gonna get there. Okay. All right, Sandra. Um, ask me a direct yes or no question. Okay. A uh, direct. Yes. It's not okay. Can you tell me? No, direct question. Okay. Okay. Where is the 
A yes or no question. All right, I need a, a yes okay. or no direct question, Sandra. <laughs> okay. Are you I, happy? <laughs> are you happy? Okay. Are you happy? Very good. Okay. Very good. So, how would you say this indirectly? Emer. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Emer? Can Why you hear you me? Happy? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Uh, are you, uh, why are you have why ah uh, you you're, you're it, confused right? Timur. you're you're confused okay uh, are you I, happy if you give the class okay remember guys the secret is behind you ask okay you you need to ask a question guys but you're not gonna ask uh you're not gonna use uh, okay guys let me re-explain this okay this structure right here you don't use it okay this okay. guys okay Let's start little by little, okay? So let's go with smaller steps, okay? So here, guys, okay? I want you to tell me how, first of all, we're going to transform this into a sentence, okay? So how do we make this a sentence? Gimer, how you do we are make happy. This? Oh. I'm sorry, sorry, go ahead. Gimer, how do we turn this into you a are sentence? Happy. Thank you yes. very much, Emers. Okay. You are happy. <laughs> <laughs> You're happy, right? Very good. So first of all, okay, this is step number one, right? You turn it into a sentence, okay? What is the first step, Imer? It's like invert the, the yes. subject with the auxiliary. <laughs> yes, you turn it into a question. You can either, re you can remember it as inverting or turn it in turning it into a question, okay? All right, so this will be transformed into an indirect, indirect question. Now, what do you need next? You need, all right, either a phrase, all right, to start the indirect question or another question opener, okay? All right, so following this structure, what else do we need here, Emer? How can you start another question? With can, cool. Very good. Okay, cool. you can say, "Could you tell me?" Right? Could you tell me if you don't? If you don't want to memorize it like this, do it like this. Okay. Could you tell me if? Don't forget the if. Okay. Could you tell me if? if? Oh, okay. All right. Can. All right. Can you tell me if? All right. Would you mind telling? Write this down, guys. Okay. Please, because you're gonna forget. Would you mind telling me if, uh, what else, uh, Karina? Is there any chance to know if? <laughs> I was wondering if, is there any chance to know if, uh, there are like a thousand ways, guys. What else, guys? Even in Spanish, guys. I would like, I would like me. to know if. <laughs> I would like to know if, all right? Even in Spanish, guys, it's the same way, right? We mm -hmm. have like the thousand ways to say, me está preguntando, yo que yo saber, uh, si... I was wondering. I was, I was going to, uh, I was going to thinking. I was, uh, uh, I, I was thinking, uh, very good. You can I was say, thinking. Uh, well, actually, I was thinking uh, that wouldn't work. I was thinking if you're happy, I was wondering, because what you're trying to say, you know, is wondering, okay? So thinking substituted with wondering, okay? And that would be it, okay? Can okay, it I, be possible to say, teacher, do you have any idea if... You can say that, yeah. Do you... <laughs> I mean, I don't <laughs> think that people would say it like that, but, but yeah, it is possible, okay? Do you have any idea... If, if okay. he if he is happy. If if you in this case, right? So oh, that, guys, you, okay, sorry. right? So this is okay. This is the opener that I was talking about, Emer. Okay. And then after that, guys, you can start. You know, you can start working on your sentence. Okay. So what would be the outcome 
of these guys, okay? Now, Emer, now that you have all the ingredients, give me the sentence, please. Give me the, the indirect question. Could you tell me if... Could you tell me you are if, happy? if you are happy? Good job. All right. Close for Emer. Woohoo. <laughs> All right, Emer. All right. Did you get it, Emer? Did, everybody, did, did you get it? Emer, Sandra, Laura? No, yes. All right. Yes. Now you did. Okay. Do me a favor, guys. Please take a screenshot because I don't want to close the screen. And, 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 you know, uh, without you knowing this topic, okay? So I really Sentence, need to take notes, please. okay? Or take, take a screenshot, okay? And that's it, guys. It's really not complicated. It's just, you know, think about it like we do it in... I, I, want, I, I never recommend, you know, thinking something in Spanish, guys, but just be, you know, be aware that it is the same thing as, as you know. Think about someone being nervous, okay? Instead of somebody asking you, hey... Tienes novio, right? All right. Think about that guy asking you, Uy, me preguntaba si, me preguntaba si, si se va a enojar tu novio, right? <laughs> I don't know, something like that, right? <laughs> so think about it that way, guys, okay? So I think the right question is like saying con escuela, right? <laughs> All right. Very good. Now, notice something, guys. When we use yes or no questions, what? What do all of these, you know, the, the question openers have in common, guys? The what late. No. The manners, they are very polite. Where's the WH? Why are you seeing that? <laughs> I'm sorry, which one? Which, which, I'm sorry, what? I'm talking the manners, about, they I'm are talking very polite. I'm talking about <laughs> this, guys. Okay, I'm talking about this. What do, do they all have in common? Two pharma. The yeah, all of that. All of them want to to they are make a, a question. They want to okay. make an they want an when, explanation uh, or no or guys, want to know I, the chamber. Guys, <laughs> they want to know the chamber. I I I put it in uppercase, so you could so when I asked you for this, you could answer without any issues. It's in uppercase, guys. Come on. If. If guys, okay, all right, they all have the word if, okay, so that's the difference, guys. I asked you what was the difference between this, you know, this and the WH question, right? And the difference is, guys, that the w, that that a yes or no question would always have if, okay. In some scenarios, guys, okay, you might change if for a different word, but it always works as an if clause, okay. All right, guys. All right, are we good now? Yes. Somehow, yeah. Somehow, come on. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, guys, so now WH words, it is exactly the same formula. Now, what is the difference, guys? What is the difference between indirect questions with WH words and yes or no questions? If. The if, guys, okay? So it is the same thing. Can you tell me, instead of, the if clause, you use what? WH word. The WH word, and that's it, see? Why is he, why is he unhappy? Can you tell me why he is unhappy? When is the restaurant closing? Can you tell me when is the restaurant closing? Closing, I'm sorry. All right, why was he late for, uh, what was he late for the meeting? Can you tell me why he was late for the meeting? Do you notice the pattern, guys? Do you notice yeah. the pattern? All right, very good, okay. Yeah. So this is what makes it different, okay? All right, that you, instead of, you know, the, the if clause, you're using a WH word, okay? I'm gonna ask you a question, um, Carolina. So where is the party? Give me the indirect question. Can you tell me where the party is? Very good. Okay. Can you tell me where the party is? Notice, guys. Okay. I'm not saying, can you tell me where is the party again? Can you tell me where the party is? The verb B comes after the noun. Okay. 
Just like in a sentence, guys, okay? Yeah. The party is at, okay? Got it? All right, so don't Got forget it. that, okay? All right, very good. So moving on, guys. All right, the same happens with other tenses. Future perfect, future perfect, continuous modal verbs, right? Same thing, right? Now, there are simple indirect questions, okay? And this is what you can find on the video, guys, okay? There are some other phrases, and it's you can use other phrases, guys, like whatever you can come up with, okay? So, you can say, I wonder, I'd like to know, I can't understand, okay? So, the same formula applies. So, if, all right, let's use these phrases, okay? We're going we're gonna to do a small exercise, okay? Let's do these phrases. I want you guys to, I want everybody right now, guys, to give me examples of indirect questions. I'm going to write down the direct questions and you're going to tell me, you're going to give me the examples of indirect questions using these expressions, okay? Using simple indirect um, expressions, okay? So, for example, all right, if I ask you, um, do you like, do I, Oh no, you know what? Or you have someone who hates Cheyenne. Yeah, yeah. Like Cheyenne, right? Like Cheyenne, right? <laughs> All right. You have an obsession with doing. <laughs> All right. So if I say, <laughs> if I say, guys, um, do you like Cheyenne, right? Carolina is gonna mm. say. <laughs> no, I don't. Now, what is the indirect question? Okay, what would be the indirect question here? I wonder if. I wonder if. You like Cheyenne. Very good. Notice, guys, that the auxiliary, remember that you're not going to use the auxiliary anymore because when we use do or does, we do not, I mean, we, when we use do or does in questions, if you transform them into sentences, you do not use the auxiliary anymore, right? Mm -hmm. So I wonder if, right, you like, you like. Cheyenne, right? I wonder if you like Chan, okay? Very good, guys. Is it clear, guys, what we're going to do right now? All right. So I'll, I'll, I'll just, okay. When is your birthday? Why do you like this class? All right. Do you eat at night? All right, and what's your favorite color? All right. Yes, I am very original, guys, okay? Let's go, guys. Let's transform this. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go, guys. Before we leave, all right, send it's me time, your... Teacher. That's oh, not... Yes. It's time. You Almost. I thought it would be like 8.30 if, or something If you like come that. at, if you come at 8.15, we're going to leave at 9.15. Okay, good. All right. Did you finish, Carolina? All right. No, I, I do need it to work, Carolina. Uh, I do need your... I don't know. Did you actually send them? I needed to send them. In the oh, chat. I have to send them. Oh, yes, okay. In, in the chat, guys. In the chat. In the chat, okay? Okay. Good to... All right, just Someone will work. So you, by the way, you don't need to do them on paper. Just, you know, send them in the chat and that's it. Very good, Emer. Could you tell me when your birthday is perfect, Emer? Good job. But Emer, there is something wrong there. The instructions are, remember, you have to use the phrases that we have here. 
Edit. Okay, very good. <laughs> All right, very good, Karina. I wonder when your birthday is. Good job. I wonder when your birthday is, Sandra. Good job. I wonder when their birthday is. Okay. Remember, you can use either one of these phrases, right? Any phrase that you want, okay? If you see somebody using I wonder, try to use another one, right? I'd like to know. All right. Uh, Emer, I'd like to know when your birthday is. Good job. Laura, I wonder if you'd like to eat at night with me. All right, very good. Now, you would say, Laura, I wonder if you would all right, like to eat at night with me, if, if you're asking that kind of question, right? All right, I'd wonder if you like. No, I mean, hold on. You can say, I wonder if you like to eat at night with me. Never mind. All right, it is correct, Laura. All right, and the thing is that that's like saying that that basically means that that person goes to eat with you at like at night almost every day and you're asking him or you're asking that person if, if that you know if they like eating out with you right another question would be i wonder if you would like right that you're asking that person out okay so but it's okay right um also guys when you're doing the exercises please don't say you like a, just like the the, the vowel root you <laughs> Try to spell it like correctly, like Y O U, right? Emer, I can't understand why you like this class. Okay, very good. Now, I can't understand. Good job. I wonder if you eat at night. Good job. Sandra, I'd like to know why you like this class. Okay. Laura, I'd like to know if you like David's <laughs> class. Okay. <laughs> Davis. All right. I'd like to know what your favorite color is. Good job. <laughs> what happened, Emer? <laughs> with that XD. Carolina, I would like to know when your birthday is. I wonder when your birthday is. Good job. I wonder if you eat at night. Good job, guys. All right. I, I think that we're missing all uh, some of them, guys, but I think you got this topic. The, how, how is it clear like Coca-Cola, guys, or like or like water? Like horchata. Like, oh my no, like, God. like, like, like water teacher, like water. Shame on you. You understand perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> like water teacher. Right, I don't like Coca-Cola. I prefer horchata. <laughs> like right, water good. teacher. All right, like water. Okay. Now, guys, all right. Uh, <laughs> like we only, water. We only have one minute. Uh, <laughs> Did you hear, teacher? Like water, he said. Oh, my God. Like water. Okay, but that's clear enough. See, water is clear, man. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> All right, anyways, um, you don't even have, you know, a legal age to drink, Gamer. You're like 15 or something. <laughs> <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> I'm kidding, man, all right? We're good, guys. All right, so, uh, so um, that's it, guys. Okay, do you have a question? All right. Now, uh, remember, guys, <clears throat> I do need you to... Uh, there are two things that you need to show me a screenshot for this coming Thursday. Isn't that? Too, no, that's today's Tuesday. Right? Yeah. What? Wait, today is Wednesday? Wednesday. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Saturday. All right. Oh, my God. So tomorrow, guys, tomorrow is Thursday, right? So tomorrow, guys, you have to send me a screenshot of the second, at least, you know, the, the, the second section completed at 100 percent okay and you have to do the midterm okay all right so there are two things that i need um before this week this week ends okay uh tomorrow guys we're gonna continue with you know with um with the complex indirect questions and uh we're gonna solve anything that we have not been able to solve in the plat on the platform and that's it guys okay I am falling asleep right now, guys, because I'm really tired. Uh, so I'll let you go, okay? Uh, you take care of yourselves, guys, okay? And good night, right? See you tomorrow, guys. Good night, teacher. Okay, good night. Good night. Bye-bye. It was nice.